guys. I made it to day 30. Here, here we go. We descend into the pit for our final challenge. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. It's dark down here. <laughs> this is a little bit terrifying doing this in uh, this perspective. Our challenge for today is to make an underground river biome using this giant hole that's been sitting here in the edge of town. This is a very different project than um, the, the projects we've been doing. Um, it is entirely terraforming and um, that is something that I am not confident I'm going to do well in. But I'm going to do my best. Oh, buddy, let me help you out here. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think first things first is we're going to have to light this up because uh, there's so many mobs down here. Not that that bothers me in creative mode all that much, but they're just a little bit annoying. But like with any good terraforming project, I think, I think, I'm going to be using terracotta and all sorts of, you know, blocks that do what we need it to do. Terracotta, moss, maybe concrete. Who knows? Um, I have a small amount of vision for this cave, but a lot of it's gonna also just kind of come together as I go, I suppose. Are you ready for this one? I have a feeling it's gonna take a long time. So, let's get going. this hole for the entirety of of this build I also have exactly zero clue how long it took but hey it's done that's our last build it's finished oh my gosh well let's take a little look at what's going on down in here so we've got some 
big, beautiful, glowing flowers to provide light for a lot of the cave. Um, our water kind of flows in from up here and moves all the way down through the cave. Um, I replaced a lot of the walls with calcite and we've got a couple of like upper level water waterfalls pouring down as well. Um, I found a lot of just little like nooks and crannies as I was replacing a lot of the walls, which is where those come from. We made an extra little pond down in here. Ugh, so many glow squid dying. So sad. But we have this extra pond here. And then it comes and kind of filters back off into more of an underwater cave biome thing. We've got some custom trees up here in the flatter area up at the top of the cave. Um, like mushroomy type growth lighting as well as of course glowberries because like how could I not use glowberries I was going for something along the lines of fantastical lush cave I think I think I accomplished that I really loved kind of mixing the clay the andesite the calcite into like the walls of the cave um, I don't know those blocks go really well together and I'm definitely gonna have to use those in other other areas Are the foxes eating fish oh my gosh that's so cute I wasn't sure exactly what to expect when I started working on this I had some ideas but a lot of it just kind of came along naturally and I am very happy with how it turned out I'm so excited that this is the final build of this series. I can't believe that I made it through this whole thing. Thank you for coming along with me. I will be doing a recap episode tomorrow, kind of touring the different builds that I've done, maybe um, working on a few details around uh, talking about the process that I used through this series. I hope I'll see you there for that tomorrow. And I hope you'll stick around for the next things that lie ahead. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey. Bye!